Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today along with my son, Nathaniel. He's our cameraman today. Say hello. Hello, hello. All right, guys. Hey, today we're going to take you on a tour of our chicken coop mansion here, okay? We're going to get kind of detailed today. I think I've already made a video where I showed you a little bit. We're going to get into the nitty-gritty of the construction of this thing, the framing of it, before we actually start putting all the OSB down. So in case you want to build one of these yourself, you should be able to do it by watching this video because I'm going to give you the measurements and everything. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, the main specs on this thing, this thing is five foot by seven, okay? So let's just take a quick measurement here and just see if I'm right. Okay, we're actually 62, five foot two, okay? Is uh, actually the width of it. And I'm going to go down here, clamp it at the back, pull this way, it should be about seven foot and we're right on seven foot this way, okay? Now, if you'll notice, we have what looks like some older lumber down here, and that's exactly what it is. It's actually some wood that we took off my dad's deck, and I repurposed it to build the lower run here, okay? So we got six by six posts here on all four corners. We got some five quarter board, um, kind of banding the top of it here, banding around the bottom of it. We've got a couple cross braces, and that's what we framed up for the chickens to actually have a lower run, okay, that will be covered by the roof, because this whole thing will have a roof on it as well. And we'll have a door down here to where we can actually open it up and give them access to a a bigger run as well if we want to but this one here will definitely be uh predator proof everything on this will be uh hardware cloth will be the only opening half inch by half inch and so it should be snake proof as far as any larger snakes and everything the only th time i think we would ever get any snakes in the chicken coop would be if they come in from the opening from the larger run because it probably won't be snake proof it'll be other animal proof but anyway, um, let's go ahead and take just a couple basic measurements. Let's see what the overall height on this end is. Now this is the, the roof, this is the, it's the slant roof, and this is the highest point of it right here. So we'll just go right here from the floor up to the top of the wall, and we're about seven foot, okay? We're just a tad over seven foot right there. And I think on this end, I can't remember, so let's just see. On this end down here, we're six foot, that's right. So we got like one foot a drop per seven foot. I mean, it's actually a little bit more than a 112 pitch, okay? So, um, if you bring the camera up here so I can kind of see the rapture here. I believe the uh, angle that I use here is about an eight degree, okay? On these rafters as they went across. Now, Daniel, back up just a little bit so people can see. I want, I want them to see this whole side of the up here bring the camera down here can you see the whole side of the unit here okay i don't know if you know what i'm talking about i want to see this opening here this big clean out door this is a big clean out door on the side of the coop now if you look inside here you can see this will be the inside of the coop where they'll stay at night all right and here's the floor framed up and we went around and made sure we even on the edges, we made we put some two by two strips because we want to be able to nail this thing solid all the way around. We don't want any cracks for any critters to crawl their way up in here from the bottom. And um, and then our hen box right here, we've already done a pretty detailed video on the hen box. You can check that out. We'll put a link down below. It'll be a three hen laying house and uh the floor is angled it's sloped downward so hopefully the eggs will run downhill and we will be opening it bring the uh, camera right around here we'll be opening it from a door that we will build that will fold out this way we have not built that yet so there'll be no it'll be a solid roof no lifting of a door up here because it's hard to keep a roof like that from leaking when you hinge it so we decided just to build it just like this right here and make the access point right here. And one cool thing that uh, come about from this, bring squat down, show them underneath here, how we have ventilation. We're gonna have some lower 
uh, intake for some ventilation because we're going to have all this covered up with hardware cloth so some air can come in from down low and draft its way through the upper openings and hopefully keep this thing well ventilated as well. This is the back of the hen house that we're looking at right now and you can get a good look at the hen box here as well. And let's see here. Let's, uh, let's go right here to this side. We'll show this right here. This will be the other side. This is just a window back up just a little bit so they can see this window here. So we just have a window on this wall right here that will have hardware cloth here and probably just a lift up door on it. Um, I'm not actually gonna buy any glass windows for this thing because this is definitely a lowest budget chicken house that that I can build anyway. I guess I could have went lower budget but because I framed it like you'd frame a regular house. But um, basically, we've built this thing out of two befores and OSV. And I think we're gonna get through the whole project with just that. And of course, the leftover treated stuff that we had down below. So um, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, and the way I framed this wall, it's just like the other wall. We, we, um, we went with the height of that wall, brought it all the way across. And this wall actually is just not even nailed in place yet because we've got to remove this to where we can put our floor down, which we've already got a piece cut for that. And I pulled it up just so I can make this video. And also, come up this way, Nathaniel. We'll have to put the front on the house right here. This wall right here. We'll have it covered with plywood as well. And this is gonna be a big window here as well that'll have hardware cloth. We'll have a flip up, probably just a plywood flip up door here uh, so we can close it down in the winter time. This will actually be their access door every day. Uh, for now, we're gonna make our own door. We may upgrade to one of those um, electronic doors that they have on Amazon and stuff, maybe in the future, I don't know. But the reason for the step up here is we're going to use the deep uh, litter method, I guess they call it. And we're going to try to keep about four inches of bedding in this thing and try to keep it where we, you know, flip it, turn it, and hopefully it won't get to smelling too bad. I know there's some things you can add to it and uh, we'll research that. And I've heard that hemp actually works better. We may end up using that as well. So they'll actually... This is up a little bit because we plan on having that level up there about that high. So the, we'll lift the door, they'll come out. We still got to create a little landing here for them. And then we're going to turn it. We're going to bring it down. We're, we're going to turn a ramp. It's going to come right down through here and they'll jump off into their lower run off of that. And so we still got to frame that up as well. And we'll probably work on that next. Um, this area right here, I'll bring the camera back out so I can see the front. Bring it back around so they can see this. Don't fall down. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to fall. Guys, this is going to be a long video and we're just doing this right off the cuff. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And this is the front of it right here. And this is going to be, I may make two double doors that open, or it may just be one big old door that we open up. I don't know, but we'll be able to walk up here, open this door in the morning. We could put their food to hang from this, uh, you know, these two two befores nailed right here. We'll hang their food and their water here and we'll open the door and they'll come running out of here and we'll say good morning. Hopefully they don't fly out in our face. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do yet. And that's why we may make two doors so we can kind of keep one shut and we reach up here quickly and do that and shut the other one. I don't know. We may have to do that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how, because I've seen some videos where when people open their door in the morning, their chickens fly out. They're like in a hurry to get out of that thing. So I don't know. I don't know how these chickens will be. So that's kind of the plan. Um, I was thinking about putting a little roosting bar maybe right up here as well to where maybe they can sit up they can fly up here and sit but then i got to thinking well then they're going to end up just sitting here and crapping maybe on their little run here that goes down i'm not sure i'm trying to think um where i want to put that i want to have some extra little roosting bars down there as well 
But, oh, we will go back in here and talk about where we're gonna put them in here though. We will do that right quick. Um, so we may have something in this area for them to sit up here and uh, look out because this should be pretty much all open. Although I'm thinking about closing in the sides with the OSB all the way, I'm not sure yet. But um, but we'll, we'll definitely have videos when we have this thing all done and show you what it looks like. But come in here for just a minute. We are gonna put roosting bars. Um, I got a couple different ideas on where I'm gonna put them at. I was thinking about putting them this way, okay, and having two of them, and they'd actually be up about the level of the bottom of that window there. And when we open this door, if we wanted to pull them out and clean them, they'd be sitting up here on on something that's uh, nailed across here. So if we wanted to pull them off right quick and clean them, we could. We'd be able to get to them relatively easy instead of them running this way and us having to stick our head in here and move them or whatever. We may just have it where we can get to them easy. And when we go to clean out the bin through this big, large clean out door here, show them the, you know, this big opening here. Back up just a little bit so we can see. So we're gonna have this big opening. We're gonna open this big door. We can move the roosting bars out of the way if we need to. We can take a hard rake and put a wheelbarrow right here. And we can take the hard rake and we can drag everything out of here uh, pretty easily to clean out the whole coop. Should be a relatively easy thing to do. So folks, this is uh, kind of the design that I come up with. Um, I watched a lot of videos. I watched a lot of uh, a lot of other people's videos before I even started building this, and I just figured out some dimensions and just started cutting and nailing together. So that's what we did here, guys. Hopefully, um, this video you will find helpful. Like I said, the main measurements is five foot by seven. It's seven foot tall from the floor to the ground this way. It's six foot right here. Got about an eight degree pitch here. Pin box is 36 inches by 12, because I had read that 12 inches uh, is the width that the, hint, uh, that the lay-in box really needs to be, 12 by 12. So anyhow, that's where we're at, guys. And we're hopefully, we'll have this thing uh, put in place. It's getting very heavy. I think we're gonna have to put wheels on it to roll it to the spot where we wanna set it up at. And I'm sure we'll be making some videos on that coming up very soon. Thank you for checking out this video today. Um, if you have chickens, I hope you enjoy them. We're definitely enjoying ours so far. Uh, it has been a lot more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. But initially, I know all this expense is within the first year, and after that, uh, it shouldn't be uh, that expensive really to keep them going. And I'm looking forward to getting our own uh, homegrown fresh eggs that we know that we raised our chickens. We know what they're eating, and we know they're going to be healthy and happy. And um, so there you go, and um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.